I am so glad to see you here. Thank you for, you know, coming on my channel. Today we're going to talk a little bit more about organization because it's January. January, February, you know, I do like to do things in my home that um, create systems in my home that make my life easier and that look aesthetically pleasing. And I have a few good tips today. So I hope that you guys, you know, enjoy it and, you know, let me know. Give me a thumbs up or whatever. <laughs> if it's called thumbs up, give me a like um, and, you know, leave comments comments and questions in there and I will answer everyone's questions. So today, this is an easy one, but it's such an impact. about creating a vignette and I'm doing it in my bathroom, which I love. I love my bathroom and I think that if you have a spot in your home where you go to and you can unwind and relax, well, one of my areas in my home is my bathroom. I love that. I love to take time once a week, I try to, to take some time for myself to soak and relax. So I love when function and form meet. I really love that and it leaves a nice, clean, pleasing beautiful aesthetics um, for you in your home so in January what I do is I look over my towels and see what I have I love using white towels I've used white towels for probably 15 years I do in my guest bathroom I use like a gray in my main bathroom you know for my family we just use white and they clean well in January I take a look at you know the type of condition my towels are in and both there's ones that I'm needing to go then they're gone and I replace them so what I did was I, I got this set a beautiful set and I've had these before so it was an easy decision for me because there's lots of different types this towel I'll just get out the hand towel it's easier it's a little bit smaller this hand towel you know they're, they're not too thick and it's not too thin I'm not going to bring up the three bears because you know that was <laughs> So this towel, this hand towel, they're great. I mean, they absorb well, it's 100% cotton. The price is reasonable, the quality is excellent. They wash well and dry well because I just have to put them in and out. I don't have time to fuss around for, with, with towels and stuff like that. And I think they're perfect. And then, you know, they look great. So I, um, you know, purchased a few sets and these ones, this set came with six bath towels, six hand towels, and six face cloths and the face cloths you know they're very generous size i like them they feel really really soft they're very absorbent so i like that what i thought is you know i've kind of made a thing of what do i like and want readily available in my bathroom and i'm going to create a vignette with these apothecary jars i think they look stylish you can use these in any area in your home i wanted to create a nice area in my bathroom along my tub surround so i decided to go with this and i love them like they're glass and they're perfect i decided okay well what do i use all the time well i constantly constantly use bath salts i love bath salts so i'm just going to bring bath salts in and i'm going to put it in this one so i'm just going to pour it in this would be a nice thing to put in one of them and it looks adorable and then I went on to an Etsy store and these are handmade little wooden ones I know it's a little taller but that's the one I had ordered and you know what it does fit on and I use it and then I scoop it into my tub when I'm taking a bath so I love this and then with this one in my home we use natural soaps um, I, I find that's easier when my children were younger. I noticed that, you know, their skin doesn't, didn't get as dry. I had a child that has eczema, so that was a concern of mine. So I always bought products that would help. We still use them. So I thought that, you know, how nice is this to have just a few bars of them in here? So you just put a few bars in here. You just stack them any way you want. And I mean, this looks gorgeous. This is just one of my bath bombs. I'm just gonna stick it in there because it's in the same color family. And this is gorgeous too. So this will sit by it. If you notice, like I have different shapes and sizes, you can have the same shape. You can have even number. I do like having things 
odd. It just, you know, when you're designing a, a little vignette, it's nicer to have odd or even just a single one. And in this one, now I use C sponge sponges and I use them all the time, but I do use these. I bought a whole whack of them and got a, them at a great price. And then what I do is I just, you know, I'm gonna put them in here any which way. They look so organic, so nice, and they look really cute in my bathroom. And I'm gonna show you what they look like in my bathroom. So how nice is this? It looks pretty, I love it. And then I got um, this one here. And I decided I'm gonna put in some potpourri that kind of goes with it, give it more of a decorative twist on it. And now I'm gonna show you what it looks like in my bathroom. It just looks so nice when I go in there. And you know, I have my my um, soaps there and my family, you know, when the soap runs out, they just grab one. I can see when this is empty. There are certain things, you know, you're not gonna put in one of these, like, you know, bubble bath and different things like that. But I really, really enjoy this. So come along with me to my um, bathroom and I'll show you what I do. So this is my bathroom. And um, you know, I have a little corner there, if you can see right there, that's empty. And I thought that would be a perfect spot to create a vignette and put some stuff in there that I like. Okay, so see, I just put it there in the corner. It looks cute and I think it looks very nice. It, you know, there's something about our bathrooms when we have, or not even just bathroom, like areas in our home where we can have a little quiet and calm and reflect and stuff. For me, I love a nice bathroom that's like that, so it's calming. It's aesthetically pleasing and it's calm. And it goes with kind of my spa vibe that I do like to try and accomplish at home. Bath salts here, and of course my little sea sponge. And once this gets a little bit, not great, like you have to microwave it in different stuff, but it does take a while to get like that. And then I have my little bath scrub, you know, and it has a little massage on the back, so it's quite nice. I want to exfoliate more. I love this one. I love the way it looks. It's very spa looking and it's more organic looking for my bathroom, so I like it. I like my bathroom to be whites and creams. I have some dark cabinet as well. Oh, and then I really enjoy this one. This is my favorite one. I use it like 90% of the time. I really enjoy this one, their house blend one. This one brings me back to the tropics. It smells like coconuts, Hawaiian trips, tropical stuff like that, you know, with saddlewood. So I really, really love this blend. You know, it, it, it's enjoyable. And what I also like is the quality of the product. Their products, there's no fillers, you know, they're sustainably made and it's all, you know, all regulated. And I really, really appreciate that. And I really, really think that's important. Um, you know, you're breathing this stuff in, so I, I love it. So for me, this one is really cute, yellowish, and then it goes to more um, muted color. I think this is great. When I'm in the bath, I, I do love this. It just makes me relax. Try to take some time to, to unwind and relax and have a nice soap, do an exfoliator. Sometimes when I don't want to use my bath salts, you know, I will grab this. This is one of my favorite. This is a bath soap and I put this in it and it just smells good. It's by Herbivore Natural. I really like this. They, this also comes in the body polish because you know, during the week, a couple times a week, I use a body polish. It's um, you know, it's an exfoliator, and I use that in the shower. The one that I really love is the coconut rose, and I use this one all the time. But I will use um, the coconut one as well, body polish. But this happens to be a bath. Next week, I'm going to see you guys probably in a couple days because I'm doing a different video and I'm doing overnight oats. Those are super healthy and I think that as women, we're busy and we got to, you know, sometimes we're running. We got to grab and go and I think it's important, you know, everyone knows it's important we have breakfast and we eat and we fuel up a little bit, right? Because we're running on E in the morning sometimes. If we miss, then we're not eating till lunchtime. I know for me, I like, if I do that, like, I'm like, I'm like... I'm like eating my pantry, but if I have a, a filling breakfast that's healthy for me, I just feel so much better. So I got some recipes on there. They're super easy overnight oats. But anyways, all that aside, you guys, I really hope you take some time and kind of look around and look at your a room in your home so that you want to kind of create a little bit of a space for you that's peaceful and 
you know, that's kind of like gives you a little area in your home where you can relax and unwind and, you know, pamper yourself a little bit. I know that for me, that is something that I really try to do every week. And yeah, thank you so much for taking the time to watch my video today. I hope that you enjoyed it. And you know, if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. Everyone, have a really good day and I'm going to see you in a few days. Thanks. Bye.